YouTube short channels are taking over the online money making world right now. And this YouTube short channel has generated over 86 million views since last December. You can see that they're on a daily basis getting nearly 500,000 views. And in the last 30 days alone, they've gained over 50,000 subscribers. And as you can see here on Social Blade, these are the rough estimates of how much they're making per month. These accounts are blowing up because they're able to leverage AI to create unique but simple videos. So I've been researching and learned how to create these videos in the simplest way possible. And this video is a step-by-step -step tutorial teaching you how you can create these videos simply. Guys, make sure you like and subscribe and watch till the end because it's really not difficult and you can jump in before it becomes oversaturated. So what we're going to do is create our concept, get all of our images, make sure that we've got all our elements ready, put it onto an editing software. Guys, and remember that by the end, you'll be able to not only create videos like this channel, you can take how I've created the videos and put it with your own concept. Guys, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to actually get our concepts and images. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with a similar concept that Characterize Labs have used, which is Marvel characters as vampires, just to show you how they've done it. So the first thing we're going to do is use an AI image generator. You have a bunch of different options for this. For example, you can use Blue Willow, which is free. You can use Mid Journey, which is a relatively cheap subscription, or you could use, for example, Leonardo AI. For the purpose of this video, because I have a subscription, we're going to be using Mid Journey. Now, one of the reasons that these videos are so popular isn't because they're incredibly well edited. It's because of the concept behind it. It's intriguing for us to see how, for example, Iron Man or Captain America would look as a dog. You know, once you see the first one, the Hulk, and then you continue watching the whole video so it's a really really good concept so the first thing we're going to do is create our images which I'm going to show you now okay so we're on mid journey now what we're going to do is put in our prompts for the purpose of this video I'm actually going to focus on DC just so it's slightly different to characterize labs as they're doing a lot of Marvel so I'm going to put in imagine Superman as a vampire. I'm gonna put realistic, full body, HD, Superman, suit. I'm gonna put dash dash AR23, which essentially is short form format. So press enter and see what comes up. At this point, it's worth, you know, you just playing around with a few different prompts, see what pops up. Type, imagine God playing against Messi. As a Ronaldo fan, I can't escape Messi. Okay, so here are our images. Wow, they are pretty good. So I'm gonna actually just save these just so that I know. I'm gonna press U2 and U4, but for the purpose of the video, I'm going to create another set. Sometimes when you add just one simple word, it can completely change the image that is generated. I'm going to add scary, and let's see how that changes things. This is actually making me want to create my own channel. So here are my results. I really, really like them. U1 and U3 again, and just save them and I can go from there. But now I want to do more DC characters. I think they use about six in their videos. So I'm gonna copy the prompt that I did for Superman. Press copy, I'm going to paste, and then I'm just going to change Superman to at what man and see what happens guys as you can see i've put in aquaman as a vampire and these look pretty epic so epic that i actually struggled to pick one i'm probably going to go with you four as that looks insane i will quickly do one more and then we'll move over to the next part we've got our six images and what we're going to do is go over to canva and as you can see in characterizers video they have a mini original version of the character character in the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to use Canva to finalize the images with those characters. So let's start off with Batman, for example. So what I'm going to do is drag Batman out and I've created a design here as a YouTube short and it's brought up the Canva template or the size and there's my Batman. I'm going to go into Google and I'm going to type in Batman. 
I'm gonna go over to images and I'm just gonna pick a clean looking Batman a image. I've got my image from Google, the original Batman or a version of Batman. And I'm going to bring it over to Canva and I'm gonna press background remover. Now guys, if you don't have Canva Pro, there are so many different background removers nowadays. Simply go on Google and type in background remover AI and you will have a bunch of different ones. One I recommend is Zyro, which is really good. So just use that but let's go back to canva and there's my image so what i'll do now is do this for all the images now the next thing we want to do is actually edit this into our video so let's move over to CapCut, which is a free editing tool you can literally use any editing software and potentially even canva if you wanted to but for the purpose of the video as most people are using CapCut nowadays i'm going to go over to CapCut. okay guys so now we're on CapCut and we're just going to edit everything together, add the transitions, etc., and finalize the video. So let's jump into it. So I've got my six pictures on my timeline. Now, I don't want this video to be too long at the moment. It says 30 seconds. I'm going to try and make it a maximum of like 12 seconds. So I'll make each one maybe like two seconds and we can see how that works. So that's about two seconds and we can just kind of bring everything down and kind of just see how it flows. I wanna see how the video flows without any transitions or anything. So people are going to be analyzing this video and I also want them to loop the video so that to watch it a few times. I wanna give them enough time to actually look at each image but not make it too long. So let's see if that works. So make them more relatively similar, make Batman slightly shorter. So you just wanna play around with timings basically. I'm gonna make Cyborg a bit shorter as he's probably the most least um, popular character. Okay, so that's about 14 seconds. So for me, that's a good length. Now, what I'm going to do now is add transitions. In the Character Labs video, they have some cool transitions. So I'm going to go to CapCut here, transitions, and I'm going to see what they have. Just something that is going to match the video, keep it engaging. And obviously, I don't want to completely copy Character Labs Labs. They've got their own style. You don't want to overcomplicate this section, you know, but Character Labs, they've essentially got a, a routine kind of transition that they normally use. So, you know, when you're first starting your videos, it's important potentially to, you know, have a trademark transition. So take some time picking yours, what works for your niche, what style of video. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to add some audio. So you can essentially just pick something that's here or go onto the YouTube library and find something that potentially is not copyrighted. So I've got my audio. They don't use any effects, but you can play around with some effects if you want. You know, let's have a look at what they have. I've added a fog effect and reduced it slightly just to add a little bit more of an element to the video. But essentially, I'm happy with this video and I think this is good to go. And here is the final video. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've tried to give you the tools to go viral and I hope that you're able to apply this to your own ideas and create a YouTube short channel that can potentially change your life. Guys, I would greatly appreciate a like and subscribe as I want to make more videos that I can help you guys grow online. My name's Alex, let's grow together.